Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today I've got a quick Windows 11 tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to initialize and set up additional NVMe M.2 SSDs here in Windows 11. So this will work with NVMe drives, or even if you've got traditional SSDs, the process should be pretty much the same. Now we're not gonna show you how to physically install those drives in your PC case today. I do have some videos on that. I'll link them below in the description, but we're gonna show you how to get it initialized and use the simple volume wizard to get that drive up and running. This is for additional drives, not for the initial drive that would host Windows. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So the first thing we need to do is load up disk management here in Windows 11. So head down to your start menu here at the bottom. We're gonna right click on it, not left click, but right click. And you should see the option for disk management right here. You can go ahead and left click on that and it should load up disk management for you. Now, if you've got a brand new drive in your system like I do, you should see initialize disk pop up. And this is what we're actually looking for today. And you can continue on from here. Now, if that doesn't pop up for you, let me just cancel this and it looks more like this. What we're gonna do is load up initialized disk. So we need to find our drive here. Now you can see I've got four other drives in my system and they've got a blue line. We're looking for the one with the black line here and it says unallocated and not initialized over here on the left. Now for myself, this is disk four. It could be a different number. So do keep that in mind, but mine is disk four. Now in this area off to the left here, so where it's gray, but not under the black line. So all the way to the left where it says unknown, we're gonna go ahead and right click and you should see the option that says initialize disk. You can go ahead now and left click on that and that will load up that pop-up that we got initially there. So once you've got this pop-up, we're gonna go ahead and select GPT. So that's the GUID partition table. That's what we're gonna be using today. We'll go ahead and hit okay. And off to the left here, it went from unknown to basic. So we've initialized it, but it's still not allocated. You can see it says unallocated here and the line is black instead of blue. So what we're gonna do is go here where it says unallocated and in the white open area next to it, we're gonna right click and you'll see new simple volume. You can go ahead and left click on that. And this will open up the new simple volume wizard. We can go ahead and hit next. Now it's gonna ask us to specify a volume size here. So we wanna get the maximum volume out of our drive. So make sure the number here in blue matches the maximum disk space. And then we'll go ahead and hit next gonna allow us to select a letter for our drive. I don't like to use D, I like to reserve that for my flash drives and different things like that. So I'm gonna select a different letter here. Maybe I'll go with Y for this one. There are some more advanced options here if you're interested in those. I'll let you do research on your own on that. We'll go ahead and hit next. So we're gonna select format this volume with the following settings. So I'm gonna leave that on NTFS. Allocation unit size we can leave on default. And then right here, it says volume label. We can name the drive. So right now it just says new volume. Mine is a Yoda master two terabyte NVMe. You can name it whatever you like. And I'm gonna leave on perform a quick format here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit next. And again, do be careful if this is a drive with important information, I would not format it because you'll lose all of that information. So we'll go ahead and hit next. It's gonna say completing the new simple volume wizard. We'll go ahead and hit finish and it formatted it. And now you can see that that drive is up and running. And let's check our file explorer and select that drive, Yoda master two terabyte. And you can see it's all set up there. Let's have a quick look at the properties. I've got my two terabytes of space so I can copy files, folders, programs onto that drive and it's all set up and ready to use. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you initialize and set up additional NVMEs here in Windows 11. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.